protecting the lanes is something we have seen many, many times before. The last lock-in is going to be Wukong. So Wukong into Orn. I'm furling my eyebrows right now. What do you think? Of the At the 10 minute mark, less than 100 gold difference. And SOFM will show his head top at the moment. Cyclone does get chucked down, but look at the damage onto Bin. He's losing out for the time being. Call of the Forge God comes out. The knockback is interrupted thanks to the secondary Cyclone. Nagri is not going to be able to survive much longer as Bin flashes forward. First blood to Sooning in the finals. So this is the cross the damage that Nagri can do against Did you hear the, the fear in my voice? Yes, it was going to get turned around. But they are able to get the kill. It did brought mid lane. Now, this is a little unusual, not something that we usually see as Beryl goes to the all in box. Oh, Ash Arrow directly tags one. Fine, he flashed in a straight line, but Sword Arts re engage, has locked up. Dom one, Ghost is going low, he's in trouble. True shot barrage, not gonna be enough just yet as the first death is Sword Art after Nogri. And I'm actually quite surprised that they've actually sent the Ezreal mid rather than just keeping him top. It looks like that they want to try and move Angel off onto a side. Progresses how much harder it will be to deal with given how long range it is. Whereas if Darmwan is able to win that fight, obviously they're going to get the full three. And a fight's That's happening bottom engage. lane. Flash Cyclone coming out. Stand United brings SOFM to the bottom lane. Barrel's already down. Bin stays alive a few seconds longer before Ghost is able to take him out. Canyon continues the chase. He's already used the collateral damage and Sword Art is waiting in the wings. He's got a solar flare available to fire but not a lot of damage to follow up on. He manages to catch his inner blade. That's a catch down to Canyon and SOFM with the help. He's going to be able to find it. That's a double kill for River Shen on Sooning. Beautifully done from Sooning and look at how quick he by the Leona later on. Notice that Solar is actually very strong at this point in the game and Beryl is pretty weak. Oh, Shockwave comes through. Wave catches onto Sword Art. The tower falls as well and that's Solar Flare. They can take this bottom tier one and the great thing about Azir is he can take these towers very quickly, especially... Just yet, if this drags out over time, he will be able to flash Cyclone the back line for Dom One. Sword Art's looking for an engage. He's got himself with a solar flare. Beryl gonna jump onto Bin. Cyclone already used. Beryl about to die. He flashes away defensively. Stays alive a few seconds long, and now Bin's in trouble. It's a trade of a jungle for support. But it's Dom One Gaming that are split up. They're surrounded. It's with him. Catches a taunt onto Nogri. Here comes Sword Art and Angel. One Fung running for his life. Blast goes over the wall, and Canyon is sticking onto One Fung. The rest of Tuning him in the river, and Dom One control the map. They control the river, and they take down Wan Fang. I think Suning tried to flank when they just didn't need to. They want to be playing front to back, but Angel and Sword Art just weren't involved in the fight. The good news for Suning is that they're still alive. So SOFM still has the smite. Let's see if they can take away this objective. The glide, the divide, the Emperor's divide is available. There it is! Jumping one, two, three, court goes golden and stays alive a few seconds longer. But the damage and the survivability from Showmaker and Ghost is wrecking Suning. They get themselves kills. They set themselves up for the soul, but here comes Bin. He's going to teleport in. Grand Starfall comes down. The Infernal Drake has been stopped for now. And Bin will get dropped once again with Darwin now turning their attention back to the Infernal Drake looking to secure the infernal soul. I think that in that fight, Damwon just played better. They recognized that they needed to stay grouped. They saw Bin out of position and his ultimate was forced very early onto a single- We heard the analyst desk talking about and how flexible Damwon actually are as a team because what they'll do is they make these pivots in the draft to try and a little dangerous. Well, same kind. Uh, Bin is a little overextended. Call of the Forge God comes out. Cyclone will buy well some time. Flash is still available. Side steps away from the collateral damage. That's a secondary knockup onto Canyon. So with him, Stand United brings in the support and Canyon goes down. The Ash Arrow right between the upsides. Angel committed the teleport for this as now Beryl is down as well. Nogri continues to be the target as Angel and SOFM look to run him down. And Sword Art's coming in from behind. Oh, Solar Flare has already been used. Showmaker's got the flash available, but there's no Shockwave. Shield of Daybreak to the face. True Shot Barrage is dodged by the, hour, the Hourglass. And there comes SOSM, the taunt. The first death on the side of Sooning is then going to be Sword Art as they turn around and Nuggery goes down. Ghost is the last man standing and Sooning. And now they're on the Baron. They're going to be able to cleanly take this one down. And all of a Ooh. sudden, Sooning are back in the game. Well, not any back better position game. for Dan one to, uh, for Sooning rather to be in, but they've warded for the flank. Well, let's see what happens. Nogri has not used Call of the Forge God. Sword Art has been caught out. He catches a Zenith Blade, jumps down onto Ghost. Here comes Bin. The Elder Drake is still the focus of Sooning, and Bin goes in with a Cyclone. He almost picks up the kill, manages to survive a few seconds longer, but Sooning get the Elder Drake so far at the cost of only Bin. They're going to try to escape, and now Beryl jumps in with a Grand Starfall, gets caught up by the Taunt, and Angel will send him to the Fountain. Angel gets blown up by Canyon, and now SOFM is in trouble. At the same time, Juan Fung picks 
picks up a kill onto Ghost, and SOFM is running for his life. He will get taken down. Four He's continuing to get more and more items. One member gets the Elder Drake. This is, of course, is not ideal for Sunik. Oh, or but can Showmaker Shockwave. save it? Flash is not available for Showmaker. Continues to step forward. One Fung's Mystic shots don't find the targets. He's shut down. Yeah. So Which team will win? It is balancing on a knife edge, and it will oh, come down to the team fight. Shockwave catches, and Sword Art is dead before he can do anything. No flash, no solar vision inside the pit. Sunik starts to step forward, and Barrel is the first target. 4,000 hit points on Baron. They peel away for a brief second and turn back in a chip away. The Ash Arrow catches one fung. Dom one pick up the Baron. Now they're trying to escape with their lives. Angel Not has... In that fight, he was hovering towards the bot side of the river and just basically zoning both SOFM and Bin. We know that's the way in which we lose. So instead, we're going to leverage our Baron buff. We still have a minute of it left. We're going to take as much away from you as possible. And in the meantime, we're going to gain full vision control over your side of the map. Look at all these wards in the enemy jungle. Now they're going to look for a pick on the bin. All right, Bin does have flash available to him. That's the ultimate thrown down. He's holding on they to it They got what they wanted. Now. Quick shot. That ult is now gone from Bin. That backline threat is disappeared. And let's see if Sooning. I don't think they're even going to be in a position to contest this because it's already gone. Late. They're way too late. They're way too late. Elder Dragon with Infernal Soul picked up by Dom One. They still have themselves the Baron buff as well, and the Ash Arrow goes right between Sooning. They're able to escape. Call of the Forge Guard knocks up one fine, but Sword Art's the target for now. He gets dashed on and jumped on and shot in the face by Canyon. Taken it down. This is possible. Angel and TP top to try and clear that one out, but Dawn was like, nah, 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 not that one. Showmaker with a fast TP to match, and now they have the wave that they need to break into the base. Can they finish it on this push? That's what we're going to find out. The inhibitor's going to be the next focus. Baron Impart minions for just a few seconds longer. That will time out right about now, Elder Drake is available. If anyone from Sooning goes low, they will go down. They will die. True Shot Barrage fired from one Fung. Does not do a whole lot, but the minions are cleared out. So I'm going to have to wait for the next conga line to main two. This is the best of five in the final, and Bin will be forced to run for his life. Grand Starfall comes down once again. Call of the Forge God comes out. We'll find a knockup. Showmaker running from the side. Bin is going to continue to escape, and the Ash Arrow from Ghost was optimistic. Not going to be long-range stun this time, but the Cyclone is not available for the ensuing fight. Elder has timed out, and the Super Minions are currently being caught by Angel. This is good for Sooning, but they're at a numbers disadvantage if a fight breaks out. Wards, and that's the window that Darmwon is trying to take advantage of. Notice that there are no control wards left. Arrow comes through. SOFM gets caught out, flashes away, and he's down! Nookery gets the final hit for Darmwon. No smite inside the pit, but the Cyclone, the Emperor's Divide, the Solar Flare are huge. They have to be flawless. That that is Angel being forced away. Beryl is running him down. The Baron goes low. True Shot Barrage is not going to be enough. And the Baron is secured by Dom One Gaming. They turn their attention onto Angel, who is forced to use the Emperor's Divide, the Slide, the Glide. He's holding onto the Flash, and he gets popped by Beryl. Two members of Sooning are down, and Dom One with Baron empowered minions. They're going to push into the base. They might be looking for the Nexus. And it was the pick that Dom One have been looking for. They shut down SOFM. The Smite disappears. The risk of a steal gone with it and now with Dom on the kill lead the Baron in their back pocket and an empty inhibitor standing in their way they're looking to end game one it has felt like a long time coming a hard fought victory and Dom One are setting themselves up by taking down the first Nexus turret. They will get themselves the GA out of bin. The knock up onto Wan Fung and he jumps away. The Cyclone goes up but there's just not enough damage. A lot is returned back onto Ghost as GA is still up. The first Nexus turret is down and I think the Showmaker Shockwave did not really do much. Wan Fung is taken out in the backside of the fight and SOFM will respawn only to die and watch his Nexus explode. Dom One strike first in finals. Classic Sooning fashion, we're going to see a carry top laner, um, but it's going to be the Fiora this time in the hands of Bit. What a comp! What a comp! And now Cannon has made his way bot. Bear in mind, he doesn't have stealth, but they do have the Lantern. Lantern, Flay, Death Sentence connects onto Sword Art. Defensive flash from Juan Fung. Sword Art has already used his, now he's running for his life. SOFM is inside the brush. And you see the respect from Dom One. Now, SOFM was on the Mountain Drake, and he's waiting in the wing, sort of looking for the... Remember, you ring the barrel. Quick shot, look at where he is right now. Already pathing up towards the top side of the map. They recognize that Noggery has a wave. It's in a bit of an awkward spot, and he needs assistance. But Canyon needs to clear. So because... Hovering around mid, and based on some of the spells that suggest that that gank was pretty successful, it forced Angel to burn everything. Now they're going for the kill. Oh, Lost Caress picked up. Canyon gets first blood solo.
he will find that crucial pick but i don't think it will be converted into the dragon but they might not care they're going to trade this drake for a potential first tower now at what cost first blood goes uh, smfm you shall not pass you shall not go through the tri bush you shall not collect first blood and very similarly dom one they were most concerned about now we see both teams setting up for this herald Herald is going to be the contest. The repost comes up from Vin. Angel will be the target oh, of the Kali. Nice. And Sordot finds Canyon before he can get a caress down. Now Sordot will be the target. Ghost is able to get on the board with the first kill. That's a leap into a savagery. The bowler strike gets fired out. I think Beryl caught it. There comes the curtain call. Will be tagging one as Vin gets the first kill of the fight. And now all of a sudden, Showmaker gets a reply back onto Angel. Flashing away as Ghost is the target of Vin. One Fung will not be able to find anybody with a deadly flourish. A leap onto Grom from SOFM. He's already burned the flash. Ghost is going low. The all over the map is seems a little bit stronger right now. Zero towers to one. Three kills to three. And this soul is probably going to be about two minutes slower than game one, but we're on for the same approach. Beryl was looking for a death sentence, unable to find a target. And SOFM is going to oh, jump hunting. in. Thrill of the hunt. He's interrupted by the flay. Canyon will go golden and stay alive a few seconds longer. Get locked up by the solar flay. S continues to stay alive as Showmaker. This comp from Sooning. So... I'm really curious as to how Sunni are going to play out these fights. I think they need to look for a pick just like this. That's a root. Scatter the weak. Unleashed power. Excellent. SOFM had Thrill of the Hunt and he was waiting. I think Showmaker used a Blast Cone into the river and unfortunately ran into SOFM. Call of the Forge God knocks up one. Fungi, he had Flash. He didn't flash away. He gets caught, gets locked up, gets killed. But now the rest of Sooning are arriving. Nogri's going to be the first target. That's a fantastic stun. Onto Beryl. The re engage from Sora with the Zenith Blade. Beryl stays alive thanks to the stopwatch for a few extra seconds. And Somehow Sword Art survives. Nogri continues to tank for days. There's not enough damage just yet for Sooning to burn through the Yorn. There's a lot of damage being chunked down onto Ben. Nogri, 2.5k HP. Now he's going to peel back. Call of the Forge God a few seconds away. Sword Art looking for the shield of Daybreak. Oh, the play. He's holding on to it. Canyon is coming in from behind. He's got access to the last caress. He's looking for a target. And Angel forced to flash away to save his life. Sword Art will be the sacrificial support for Sooning and Darm One get their first track. And once again, patient team fighting from Darm One allows them to come out on top. And awesome they... vision being caught out. Death Sentence will connect onto SFM. He's charging up the bar. Ben has teleported into the top lane. 5,000 HP. The red buff is used to throw in. Barrel gets blown up by the ultimate, but there goes Showmaker. He's got one already. He gets a second onto one Fung. And the SOFM is in trouble, but the Baron has been stopped. Ben is being helped out. And the spit from Baron picks up the kill. On... That's not what he achieved. He ended up just dying and uh, costing his team a lot. When we get the replay, we can actually break down exactly what happened. And I think the red buff was my favorite part of it to keep the game going. And they really do. It's still a 2,500 gold lead. Ben's going to jump here on it. gets the kill! Ooh, that I believe right. it was the last pick as well, if I recall correctly. And it's so far working out. Death Sentence connects onto Sword Art. Call of the Forge God from Nuggery. Prevents or removes any further engage. That will be a counter kill for Darmwa. Now SOFM is in trouble. Death Sentence sidestep. Beautifully done by Style of Me. He's looking for the re-engages. Here comes Ben. He's found Ghost. Ghost forced to flash defensively. Gets locked up and rooted by the ball strike. And survives for now with that molten edge. Juan Fung is now trying to chase down Canyon. Who's flashed defensively himself. Get the reload. Get the shot. That's number three. Shot. Number four is available. Death sentence onto SOFM. He's going to use the battle rod to escape. Jump forward, land the savagery, but he cannot follow up with Panic more. Dragon. Or I may not even get a chance yet. Ghost, of course, is really the difference maker here on Dom One since he's joined the squad. I'll get to that story later as the curtain is called. Bin looking for the engage from the back. He's going to jump forward. First kill on to Ghost. Now the tower will fall immediately after. Scatter the weak, stuns everyone. Call of the Forge God for the re engage. That's Angel knocked up. Flash is not available. He's taken out by Showmaker. And the melee in the mid lane as there's already another kill onto Sword Art. Nego Showmaker as well. Bin is dashing and diving forward, looking for the vitals and plunging himself into Dom One. But the CC chain from Noggery takes him down. SOFM and Juan Fung, they're still sticking around. They've got minions to play with. Three seconds until that Cloud Drake and the call is to back away. Towers mean nothing to Sooning. The fact that they committed to that fight is just crazy. SOFM now trying to zone Canyon and Noggery away as Juan Fung looks to solo the Drake. Who else is on the way? Beryl is on the warpath. 
Ghost is going to be respawning Three. soon. He's got one more shot. SOFM, a full bar underneath. This is for the soul. One Fung reloads. One, two, throws out the grenade. Five shot number two. The dragon's going low. It's picked up by shooting. They get themselves the soul. But they win the fight. Comes. That's a flash forward. One Fung gets Canyon. Now Nogri's left inside the pit. Peril's got no damage. SOFM steps back into the bush. Jumps onto Nogri. Jumps onto Peril. Does it again. A multi man stun once again from Angel. Peril will be able to find the death centers. That almost shots down Angel, but there won't be enough from the Moonlight Vigil. And here comes SOFM looking for Beryl. Sooning get the soul. There is a reason that with he... this Rengar pick. Sooning with a huge team fight, securing the soul. We'll make the way to the Baron and Bin's looking for another kill. It's not over, Showmaker. Secure, they peel back for More the Baron. Carol, it's for the not Fiora. done yet. Beryl will get caught up by that Zenith Blade. And here comes Canyon over the wall, throwing out Hate Spike after Hate Spike. I don't think you want this fight, fam. As <laughs> Bin... He is the fast quick shot. And meanwhile, Bin is just pushing in the bot lane, level 18. No one can stop this Fiora. He's even grabbed himself a Warden's Mail to mitigate some of the, the, the damage that's coming out from the double AD carries. You imagine that he's going to convert that into a Randuin's, remove some of that crit threat. But, like, now Sooning is in the driver's seat. They have the gold advantage. They have the Baron buff. Items have come in from across the board, and even with the Orn upgrades, I don't think it's going to be enough to stop soon. I really like how they're playing this as well. Now the dive comes in. That's the engage from Bin and SOFM. They'll kill off Beryl. With the Baron empowered minions, thanks in the mid lane, they'll secure that one as well. And now they continue on the siege onto the inhibitor turret. Five versus four, 30 second death timer for Beryl. Moonlight Vigil's available for Ghost, but he's waiting for the right gun. And Noggery is sitting on that call of the Forge God. If they don't blow up, one thing, SOFM or Bin, really, I don't know if they can even win the fight. I think Canyon needs to get a slightly deeper flank right now because his flank is too shallow. Sooning is too ready for it, and he's not going to have any access onto the back line, which means that Sooning can just keep walking in. He's not going to take that risk, and Sooning, they're going to break the inhibitor. They're looking to take a game off of Dawn 1. They're looking to give us more, more into a stronger bot side of the map, and now they're looking for a fight. All right, heal used by Huan Fung. He's got the flash as well. Zenithblade will find a target. Scout of the Week will not just yet. Here comes Bin. And it's Dawn 1 on the full retreat. SOFM hops over the wall, finds himself a route to Tanagri. That means he cannot interrupt anyone else. He's being chipped the away. Melted. He's done. He's dead. That's it. Canyon's finished as well. SOFM hops forward. Ghost flashes defensively and rooted in place. Bin sends him penta, back. Penta, penta. Ghost gets caught out. That's the Quadra looking for it. Bin will pick it up. Get the Penta kill for Bin and Sooning Gaming in the World Championship Final. LPL Fiora, Sooning step up, and with Rengar in game two, even out the series. I think it also then empowers um, the fact that they don't have a lot of CC built into their composition, so adding something like a Braum is going to help sprinkle that CC around. So far in Sooning's comp, uh, Sooning's comp really great uh, break well, point. First pick into then Jax and Akali, and Canyon will be jumping in, double buff. We'll get down the smoke screen below 100 HP. Sidestep from end of the line underneath the tower. One shot and two. Canyon on the board. Phase. He was zoning the enemy Akali away from so much farm, generating a huge amount of harassment and just forcing the enemy Akali to go far. Of course, did find that kill up top. Has a slight CS advantage. And now the bot lane looking to get aggressive once more. Sword Art gets the pulverize down. That slows down any further follow up. But a lot of damage. Now the ultimates are traded back and forth. Grandmaster's might. Counter Strike comes out. Here comes SWFM, manages to put the heal down to build the collateral damage over the wall. To uh, take down Nugget. I do like this roam from Sword Art. The stun will come through after a flash. flash but... Commitment, headbutt, pulverized, knocked up into the air. Nagari will go down as the trample. Sword Art's you know, out. SWFM, Sword Art correction up in the top lane. There was a little bit of cover there. Canyon gets a, a lot of time. He's already got He's the down wide. 14 CS. Surfim and Canyon will run into each other in a brief moment with the help of Shelly. Here comes the engage. Perfect execution all the way over and through. The flash away. Showmaker's caught out. Angel's low. He's down. The Unleashed Power will pick up the kill. There's a reply back. At least one for SOFM. But Beryl, with the help of the Winter's Bite, the stun will hold Sword Art in place. And the Rift Tail will get taken out by the tower. A one-for-one one trade. Angel's teleporting in from behind. He's got no ultimate for this fight. Sword Art's making his way up as well. The Counter-Strike doesn't find anyone. And Bin goes very low. Here comes Angel and Sword Art chasing. A counter teleport coming down from Showmaker. He will arrive in the top lane. Not going to have any kind of support. And 
Good awareness from Cannon as he's looking to steal away these camps. Now the dive. All right, there goes the dive. Head by Paul Bryce doesn't work. The slicing Maelstrom manages to hold Bin in place for now. The Glacial Fisher comes out from Beryl, and it's going to be a kill into Bin already. Being in the right place at the right time, you ring that barrel, and he saves Nagari's life. Exactly that quick shot. Beryl was aware of where Cannon was on the map, and he's like, my responsibility is to cover for the top lane. I have to he's be aware. He's going to steal a red buff. The scatter of the week will find a stun, and the end of the line goes out. I think had Angel. In game one, it was all about the Drakes. In game two, it was a little bit more about the skating. Now in game three, they're all about the early game. All right, but Nagari, trying to Nogari, get some of I think he's overextended strikes. here. Sword Art's coming out. Javelin Toss goes back in, and Bin gets the first. Look at the itemization differences here. Ghost Blade completed for Canyon. Oh, that's so much damage onto Angel. Winter's Bite won't find his target. Shuriken Flip comes out as well. Wait, he can Angel kill Barrel. Steps inside the shot, waits for the shield to go down. Point out was the Void Staff in the Proto Belt already picked up for Nogari. He's got himself the Ghost and the Teleport. If sure, Barrel picks... going to be able to steal this one away. Now, when I look at this game, as we see Bin chasing forward, Counter Strike is up. Showmakers use the ultimate already. Bin forced to flash. He started this fight. Now he's being look surrounded. At collapse, yep. Look at the mini map. Barrel's going to be able to chase, get the blast cone. They'll make it over the wall, but will tag the Winter's Bite. Not going to be able to follow up with a deadly flourish. And now Bin is just looking to get some damage back down. It'll buy a little bit of time as the leap strike over the minion. Six seconds until Dragon. Ironically, stalling this out makes games from this position. And just the threat alone means the Cloud Soul goes the way of this. was the type of gameplay that many people are anticipating. As you can see, SOFM being run down here. Gets caught by a deadly flourish. And collateral damage plus curse. Soon improve. Not only can they compete, they can win. And if they are unable to win this game, they will have side selection for the next one. But there is drama at the Baron Pit. Ghost is down Very nice. inside the pit. Angel continues to chase. The Glacial Fisher comes down from Beryl. But Kenya's the next target. Just as I am talking about Damwon winning, Sooning find themselves a fantastic moment to pick themselves up three kills, maybe four, as Beryl goes down. That's the fourth. And now Nogari has joined the fray. Slicing Maelstrom is available, but I think there's too much to chew off this time. Electro hamster and he's running for his life angels going for the hunt bin can hop over the wall if nogari wants to angel is swinging those shurikens looking for a target nogari can flash inside the pit there is sofm coming from the wings the gunplay goes down there goes the oh. hop over from bin perfectly executed and just at the last moment angel takes down nogari and this will open up the Baron Sooning are right back in it. There is a reason why we dub him the Angel of Death when he gets his hands on Akali. When the replay comes up, they just... Been beautiful on both sides and both previous games been dancing on a knife's edge. So we haven't talked about it. We might not actually get an opportunity to. Oh, look at the damage oh, from Angel. Does he, he go in? I, I don't think he will, because Nogari's ultimate will just kind of keep him under town with the with the Braum there, uh, with Exhaust 2. It's a little too dangerous. But notice the atomization from SOFM. He has the Hextech GOP. Uh, he's been getting the um, Glacier Augment a lot with the Omni Stone Root Choice. And I think that this setup basically allows him to guarantee the spear. Now the TP flank from Nogari. Running, running, running! That's so much damage, cannot kick him away. Headbutt pulverized just to knock Nogari up in the air, but the teleport will get the kill for one thing. Let's see what SOFM can do with that itemization, Vedius, that you were just alluding to. Top lane, Angel is pushing into the base. He's yes. opened the inhibitor turret. We are setting ourselves up for a dramatic ending TV here. Fine. Teleport coming in now. Nogri's going to make his way forward. I don't think he'll be in time to interrupt it. Angel joins the fray. Nogri's got no TP available because he used it to kill one fung. Beryl's running for his life, and he stays alive just a few seconds longer as Canyon is the first to fall. Somehow, the rest of Darmon are able to escape. Ghost has got no flash and no heal and the damage that he's chucking out with this gin and the two-man stun from showmaker is helping dumb one out there's the defensive leap and sooning are backing away the, uh, the maelstrom's not available for nagri i was looking at the magnetic pull of elder dragon that could be the deal breaker angel is caught out the slicing maelstrom from nagri stopwatch is used from angel he stays alive the stun comes down from bin that will force dumb one to disengage but the damage may already be done defensive leap strike as canyon dashes forward he's already used the collateral to pick up the kill to bin the rest of Sooning are running for their lives as they're being flanked ring the barrel as the winter's bite comes out it doesn't find a target barrel gets knocked up into the air and the curtain call doesn't yes. flash is available for one fun tp's coming in two of them from Sooning. 
SOFM's inside the pit. The true shot barrage flies across and Darmon starts to peel backwards. Nogari does have the slicing maelstrom, but look at Sword Art. He's trying to flank. Elders the focus. Will Darmon re-engage? No flash for Nogari. I don't think they want to give it up. Ooh. That's a very big stun from Scout of the Week. Tan Fung's locked inside the pit. Nogari's going to get slowed down. That super soaker from SOFM doing tons of work. The Elder Dragon is secured by Sooning. The slicing maelstrom will be able to pick up the kill onto Huan Fung, but now it's Angel that's falling immediately after. What can Bin do? A two for one, but the Elder goes to Sooning. Oh, look at SOFM. Oh, Ghost getting hands and cannons, and they're just very good they're at the They're exceptional. <laughs> We've seen at this tournament already. Sword Art's going to get rooted in place, forced to throw down that unbreakable will. He's still holding on to the flash, still holding on to the exhaust. That's the headbutt, the pulverize, the defensive chase Ooh. away, and he just gets blown up. The moment that ulti times out... The, it's the Baron, there's yes. still flash ultimate available on Augury. One fun, no true shot barrage. Bin is making his way forward. Baron so low. Canyon is dropped low by Angel. He's dashed inside the pit. Knock up from Baron. Angel's trying to continue, but the Baron is secured by Don Juan. The slicing maelstrom is slowing down the suiting engage. Bin forced to retreat. Don Juan get themselves a kill onto Jax. The curtain call tags Angel. And with the help of the follow-up, it's Showmaker killing Angel. Now one fun gets one back onto Showmaker, but three quick kills, as well as the Baron buff, and SOFM misses the Javelin toss. That's Chunk a crit. down, Ghost is chasing, and will most likely not get the kill. Unable to chase the very fast Nidalee through the jungle with Baron and Pound Minions. 30, 40 second death timers. They may be pushing Oh, they in. may very well look for that end and to think that it was just one big mistake that came through from Sword Art that could cost his team the game. TPs are available for Showmaker when he respawns. Sword Art looking to hold the line. SOFM jumping, pouncing forward. Will force Barrel backwards. Goes Golden to buy the time, but the Baron and Pound Minions are still hammering away on the Nexus start. The exhaust will slow down the inevitable deaths but not the ace will not stop and save the base dumb one a one win away from being crowned world champions what sticking with the theme of their uh, of their team fight composition with the leona with the oriana are going to round things out with a gang plan can i feel like soon kind of have everything exactly this and ghost and barrel are demonstrating flawless opening to game Wow, a couple of mistakes from Barrel. You definitely didn't oh, yeah, want to lose the Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. But uh, Ghost, his positioning is definitely making up for it. He's got to be careful. The root comes through. Oh, that's a big root. The flamethrower comes out. Cleanse as They're well. Going. Flash forward, 100 HP. Turning the damage back onto Huan Feng. Teleports come out. Huan Feng's heal. And Flash has already been used. The Comet Spear comes out from Barrel. First blood to Dumb One. The Showmaker TP is just in time to help. A few more advantages. Or maybe land the first few punches coming into the finals. Something that we were talking about pretty extensively, Various, was that Damwon had set sort of the gold standard for what good League of Legends looked like. And they were the favorites. And, you know, it's been a competitive or a close series. Damwon have been pushed to the brink. Now, Showmaker's under some trouble, but nobody's going to come down with Call of the Forge God. Unleash Power comes out. SOFM's on the wrong side of the rift. The collateral damage won't pick up the kill. And the body block from Canyon. It ends up being a one for one, two for one. As it's where Sooning have been able to outperform them. Like we're seeing right now. Sooning has the ability. He's going to chunk one fine down to 50%, and now Canyon. The Lamb's Respite is available. Cannon Barrage not yet chucked out. That's been knocked up into the air. Finally throws it down. I think it was chain CC. Now all of a sudden there's pressure in the bottom lane. SOFM gets jumped on by Barrel. The flash engage already. Sword Art and one fun can't. Canyon has had a significantly oh no. higher oh impact no. early on. Solar Flare dodged away from Flash. Zenith Blade shield up Daybreak into the Moonlight Vigil. And a couple of shots from a flamethrower gets the third kill for Sue. <laughs> that, that is fine. I'm more talking about the, the cross map. Yeah. I'm more talking about like... Why third place style. Something that you can't underestimated talking up about is just how deep the LPL player pool is as Ben is just going to get chunked out here underneath the tower. Lamb's wow. Respite will buy some time. Beautifully executed, honestly, yeah. by both. But Cass doesn't feel that way. Slowly starting to run out of options here for Sooning. Two and a half thousand. going to also die. This is going to cleanly set up for the Drake. Like, that one's just playing, like, the whole map extremely well right now. This is the damn one that everyone expected to see. I said it in the previous game, and then one Baron Team fight goes the way yeah, well, of so That's the traumatic. thing. You can't just give up on no. suiting because they haven't given up once this series. 100%. They are going to fight this. The gangplank ultimate is going to be up soon. 
Wan Fong doesn't even have his Infinity Edge yet, but here we go. Shockwave, that's gonna whiff that, only tags the Dragon. Solar Flare comes out, call the Forge God, will send Sooning packing. Sword Art forced to flash defensively, and while the Moonlight Vigil will get some damage down, Beryl is picked up by Angel. Dragon number three goes the way of Dark. Dark one. It feels like that there's no way in which they can really lose this game, but I felt that way last game too. Oh, Solar Flare engages there onto Showmaker. That's gonna get the Xanath Blade, stands on top of the Lamb's Respite. Sword Art survives a few seconds longer, but Huan Fung and the rest of Suning, they don't get there in time. Ghost comes in from behind, manages to take out Huan Fung. The Grand Starfall jumps onto Angel. Here comes Bin, throws down the barrels. It gets shot and interrupted. I think Canyon got both. SOFM manages to pick up one kill onto Showmaker while Angel takes out Beryl. Here comes Noggery, and he takes down the Angel of Death with the help of Ghost. SOFM running through the enemy jungle, the last man standing, sooning down 4,000 gold. And Canyon will hop himself. Uh, obviously, following up from the superstars of Canyon, Noggery, as well as Showmaker. And look at this another kill. SOFM is down. My boy, Go Infernal Solvenius. And it feels like that will be the final nail in the coffin. Of course, Sooning, they've showcased multiple times that they will fight you to the death, but Bin just going to face check. That's dead. Good he is just dead. Bye. And Sooning are falling. The Infernal Drake Soul, they are so close to securing themselves the world brink of death multiple times. And if they can find another Ooh. miracle fight, then maybe they can turn it around. But the damage seems so strong, oh, SOFM. Here comes Beryl, the blast cone gets SOFM alive for a few seconds longer. Bin's waiting for a barrel chain. That's some damage, that's a flash over the wall. Bin's trying to shunt them, uh, hunt, hunt them down. Showmaker gets killed as Canyon forced to flash over the wall. Uses the Dance of Arrows instead. I just started writing them off, but here come Dom one. That's the engage from Noggery. Everybody on Sooning is low. The barrel is danced away from by Canyon. A double kill for Beryl. And Angel is running for his life. Four members of Sooning are down. The last ditch effort. Throw everything in the kitchen sink at Darmwan, and it does not matter. They hit back harder. It looked promising at first, but then it all fell apart. Canyon stayed alive. The and they just get run down in the jungle by Darmwan. They certainly did. Sooning have had a fantastic performance throughout this series, and oh now they are just being dismantled by Darmwan. Another double kill goes into the back pockets of Ghost. They have the Baron buff. They're looking to break into the base. 7 0 6 for the best jungler in the world, Canyon on Kindred. 7 1 4 for Ghost playing Caitlyn with Baron buff pushing into the base of Sooning. The inhibitor turret is now taken out. The inhibitor will be the focus, and two members are dead. 10 seconds for Bin, five seconds for Sword Art. You cannot hear a sound in Shanghai as Dam Wan are making a statement in game number four. It was a brief discussion I had with some of the production crew about whether or not playing on home soil was cursed. Because outside of oh. Samsung in Korea and Fnatic in Europe, almost every home representative has lost. And look at that engage. Two more kills. Diving into the base. Angel gets airtime with the knockups. Four members of Dom One pushing through the mid lane. All five group up to take down the inhibitor, and this might be the final push. It's been a three year hiatus for the LCK, a drought when it comes to finals appearances. And today, Dom One Gaming will shut down Sooning. Dom One will silence Shanghai. And Dom One Gaming are your season 2020 world champions.